needs to understand how it is that you could refer to Mr. Julio Robina. You, could, you said, you, you wrote in Miami New Times on April 5th, Julio Robina will say just about anything to get elected county mayor. He's a big, fat liar. That's the guy. Let me tell you, on the campaign trail, you, you, you know, when you're campaigning, you got to take shots, you know, at people. And most politicians will tell you anything. That, that's a general statement for most politicians. I'm not a politician. I'm a columnist at the New Times. That's what we said here. I mean, Mr. Robina has been in bed with a Ponzi schemer, right? I mean, there's no question. Financially and every other way, he is very closely alive with a guy, an accused felon of major proportion. Mm -hmm. So how can you, how do you endorse a guy with those kind of connections? Let me tell you this. Here. We all have friends that did something bad, especially me. I have a lot of friends with a Lawrence Taylor I play golf with, play with some of the pastors who've done crazy things. I play I have uh, friends in the neighborhood who went to jail for many, many years for bad things. We all have bad people in our life. So the way I look at it is this way. Everybody says he's a criminal. I trust that the federal government, big organization of the feds, and the local police, I trust the fact that if he did do something wrong, why didn't he lock the man up? So when I look at the fact that I mean, it's been said in newspaper after newspaper, New Times, everywhere, TV, he's a crook, he's a crook, he's a this, he's that. Why the man ain't got locked up yet? So I'm only assuming at this period of time that he, he he's, you know, he's guilty. He's he's innocent until proven guilty. And that's the bottom line. So I, both, you're, and you're referring both to Julio Robina and Julio Robina's buddy, the Ponzi scheme. I don't, one guy's in jail. One guy's in jail. Obviously, we all know how the how the uh, the law works. The law feels like they got a good enough case, then they put you in jail. If they don't feel like they got a good enough case, then they don't put you in jail. I would think, because of so much bad press about him, they would put him in jail just for the mere fact. LT that. is your buddy. You play golf with him. He's got problems. That's kind of a different kind of relationship or a different recommendation than having somebody you know, recommending somebody as a steward of hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayers' money. If you're the county mayor, right? you're not just Seven playing billion golf. Dollars. Seven billion dollars. Exactly. So you're not just playing golf with some guy. You know, you're, you're recommending that this guy, I pay my property taxes to this guy so that he'll, and that he will spend them wisely. Right. Do so you think Julio Rubin is going to spend money wisely? I, I, you know, I, I think he is because, again, he's... He's been accused of things that he's done outside of government. He has not been accused of things as a man of how I live. You know, if you're the man of how I live, you miss, you know, he, he has his issues, fire department or whatever, but at the same time, I mean, those are hard calls that had to be made. He has his opinion as to how he government that. But at the same time, he don't have no issues of misappropriating funds in, 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 as, a, as a mayor in how I live. You know, because I think he would have been brought up on ethics charges. So that would have disqualified him. And I would not, not have been endorsing somebody that had those kind of issues uh, uh, as the mayor. You know, I think, you know, it's much more public opinion right now. The guy had, the guy has not been charged with anything. Okay. So if he has not been charged with anything, he ain't even, it ain't even a question of he's innocent until proven guilty. He has not been 